Hi everyone. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to spice up a pasta and sauce chicken and mushroom. Right, when whenever you decide to make one of those, yeah, pasta and pasta and sauce, chicken and mushroom. Um one of these ready meals, okay. Now I'm going to give you a slight a different twist to this, okay? Uh, and it's such easy to do. Alright, so we have the packet here. And what we're doing, um, I'm going to put some a little bit of coriander, you can use parsley. And I'm going to put some green chilies, a couple of green chilies. Now these are naga chili by the way. Now, naga chilies are very, very hot indeed. They're deadly sometimes. But this one, we've grown it in our garden. Uh, although they look reddish, but they're not that hot. So I'm just going to use, if you have chilies, that's okay. You can put chilies if you do have them. But now, in this case, I'm going to put uh, one, one naga and just one chili rather than putting two. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do, just to spice it up a bit, I'm going to just put some, a little bit of Bristol granules within our pasta, okay? So, let's go and chop this out quickly. Chop the uh, coriander leaves. I'm gonna, I don't have to put too much of it, just slightly small amount will be okay. You know, I don't want to go the classic chef way, just, just do it normally, chop them up. I'm using a small knife by the way, I could have used a large knife, but there's no need to. You can just chop them like this. This motion, yeah. Just try to pick the knife up and use that motion. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna chop the chili. Naga chili. All right. Make sure you wash your hand afterwards because naga chili, these chilies can be really, really hot. Okay, so make sure you always wash your hand. And of course you're gonna you have to wash your hand prior to start cooking. So I have the coriander and the chilies there. Okay. Next thing right, I'm going to let's split the content. Right, and I'm gonna grab my dish here. I've got the dish. There we go. Right, okay, let's go over here. Put the content all in. I'm doing the filming and cutting and chopping and everything one go. So one man show here. Right, okay, so we put that in in the saucepan or the dish cooking pot. Now I've already, now here we are, I've got some boiling water here. Oh, boiled up water a bit, I'm going to tip some water. Uh, okay, that will do. Uh, this will be roughly about half and a half, one cup and a half water. This might be more, slightly bit more. Okay, right, so we leave it to simmer because look, because we already put hot water in already, look, it started to bubble up because it's hot water, right? It speeds up the cooking process. Okay, now we are going to tip some slightly bit of milk. 
And just gonna tip some milk. Okay, so that's enough. Roughly about okay, let's be real. About half a cup. I put less than that, a couple of tablespoons of milk. Okay. I'm going to do it just I'm gonna give it a little stir. Stir it up a bit. Okay. And we can now add the coriander and the chili. So I'm just going to go over there and slowly tip the this bit into the pot. Okay. Stir. Hold it up slowly up so you can see more. Stir it. Keep it stirring. Now can you see it already has given the chicken and mushroom a different flavor. Now you can literally leave it as it is and cook the pasta. Right, it's quite runny but once the pasta starts to get cooked, it'll expand and it'll be thicker. If, you've, uh, if, you, if you need to, if, it's too, if you think it's too much runny, uh, you know, too much watery, what you can do, you can add some corn flour, add a bit of corn flour to it and it'll, be, it'll become thicker. All right, so let's, let's leave it there for one or a couple of minutes while it's cooking. Now, you know, you can put, I'm going to just slightly tip, and let's use a small teaspoon. You know, doing the chef wireless way, I'm going to put uh, one, two teaspoon of Bristol gravy granules. Okay, see what happens now. Okay, let's get this up a bit. Let's put the granules in. Yeah. So that means you can always put a bit more granules. Wait till the granules are Can you see this color start changing now? Look at this, the color. Changing slowly, so getting thicker. Uh, if you want to add another teaspoon of granule, you can do that to make it a bit more tasty, be much more, a bit more kick to the earth. Let's put another one, okay. We're going to stick another one out. Okay. So we'll put another one. And keep on stirring. Just want to go right. Right. Now if you do like a bit of salt, you can always chop some salt. So I'm going to just tip some bit of salt in there slightly, a little bit amount of salt going in there. Shake a bit of salt in there. Then also put some pepper if you like. Yes, the damn salt not coming out. This is coming out, okay? Great. Okay. Now can you see the color has changed? the texture of this uh, pasta 
pasta sauce, chicken and mushroom flavor has really really gone up also. Basically it has become a totally new dish here. Alright, so what we do now, we're just going to simmer it for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to put the, put the heat down a bit. I'm going to this up, and I'm going to put it down a bit, okay, and we will leave it for a couple of seconds, because I always put, the way to know when it's cooked, what you need to do is press the pasta with your um, spoon, you know, wooden spoon or spoon, whatever you're using. Yeah. So, let's leave it for a couple of minutes. And hopefully, that will come along nicely. Yeah, so you know whenever you get your friends around and you wanna impress them, you know they be so impressed. Um, you sort of coming out this new idea. It'd be great to have your friends around and. You know, not telling the secret. And obviously this will be a great, great, great dish. Sometimes you don't need a spoon. All you need to do is just shake the, pan, uh, the, the, the pot or the pan or whatever you could be in rather than yeah now this this particular dish now you will get the kick of the the bristol you'll get the taste of the bristol and you will get the kick of the chili the coriander um it will be absolutely fascinating taste. You know, and you sometimes what you also can do if you I occasionally add a few bits of carrots and potatoes and that kind of stuff, I just bang it with the um, this type of dish. And he infuses everything, you know, gives a, a different, totally different taste to it. Okay, I think I is done now. Alright, so you see how it's thickening? Okay. Hopefully should taste as good as is seen on that pot. Okay. Right, so we've done the cooking. Let's bring it in. We've done it. It's all done. We've turned off the gas and we've done it now. We are going to grab, going to grab a dish. Okay, let's wash the bowl first. Yeah, let's grab the bowl. I'll just wash the bowl here. Let's put place the bowl here. And what we're going to do, we are just going to I'm going to serve it. You can serve it any way you like. You can serve it on a plate, you can serve it on a plate, you can serve it on a dish or whatever you like. Mix them up, always, always make sure you mix them up, mix them up, and mix it up, 
pretty soon. Alright, let's get a bit more. Here we are. And, you know. Alright. And to finally to impress your friends and colleagues or whoever you're cooking for. can do is if you are serving if you're using parsley or coriander or just um, put a couple of pieces of coriander on top like this under the dish okay and that would look fabulously fantastic there we are or you can put one or two um, round shaped lemon on top just to infuse the taste you know it will look fabulously fantastic now let's move this out of the way and put that in a focus here there we go and go over it slightly like this and that's it ladies and gentlemen what can I say? Thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please, please make sure you like, subscribe and click the like button. Now before we do that, let's, let me grab a, a spoon and literally try a bit, see what happens. Yeah, so I'm going to try slightly a piece to see if it's... That's how I wanted it. Right, okay. Oh, this, of course, there's going to be a problem with the coriander pits. Okay, so no problem with that. Right here, let me grab a piece and I'm going to come over because it's quite still very hot. So I'm just going to have to wait for the, the heat to come down a bit. Okay, okay. So I'm going to literally try some, okay. Mmm, really, really nice. Yeah, really tasty. Oh, I can, I can feel the, um, I can feel the heat of the, um, the chilies. Mmm, excellent. So, next time you're planning a little party. Or having a friends around. Um, a simple dish. Lovely and simple dish, okay? You know, go for it. Just uh, make them, make one of these, and believe me, they will really, really appreciate it. Just um, go ahead, try one of those, you know, see, see the difference. What you can do, what the difference it makes. Somebody. Now, from a packet of pasta, pasta sauce and mushrooms. Sorry, I crumbled the packet. What you can turn it, you can turn it into literally a fantastic, fantastic dish. Right, so that's about it. Thank you for watching this video and all of my video. I really, really appreciate your your um, feedback and all the comment you're writing. And thank you for your support over the years in this channel. 
and please keep watching so and till the next uh, video uh, you know make sure you smash the like button and subscribe button and comment button once again thank you so much